that's a nice breeze. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Bit of rattling, don't get in that canal, though. Blackpool Road Bridge. Right, so we're back out. I'm back with Ian again. He's uh, he came up on the train this morning. We met at Preston and we're back on the Lancaster Canal. But um, I managed to make an ass of the filming at the start, and I don't know what I've done, but I've I seem to have pressed record after we've finished doing the piece to camera. So that's the wrong way around. Isn't it? It's the wrong way around, yeah. But we're on the canal. But this time we're heading north. Um, Ian hasn't done this, so it was no, an it's, excuse. And it's it is lovely so far. It's his birthday he's mentioned today, so we'll wish him happy birthday as well. Hey, every time you turn that on, I'm going to say it's my birthday. No, don't, don't please. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. I'll bring you back when we get uh, further up. Right, we've just stopped in the shade just to take five, take stock. It's, uh, it's very warm and close out there. It's a beautiful day to be out on the canal. Just stopped for a pint. Um, I don't know. Old Nell's. Old Nell's Tavern. Tavern. I think it's Bills, but where we're at. So yeah, just rehydrating. Yep. It's going to be a warm one in it today. It is. Yeah. yeah a bit of an overground section here. Oh. Is exactly what I want. <laughs> sausage, chips, curry sauce for Ian, and I've gone for the uh, small fish and chips. Right, we've found a, a tap. Just what we needed one. Okay, we've just stopped. Um, to get out this sun. It is um, currently, if you can read that, it's 28, it's saying. It's warm light, light in, isn't it? Yeah, light rain and light winds. So there's rain forecast. So at some stage along this journey today, we might get rain. But uh, we've been needed to cool things down because it is absolutely roasting out there. Okay, so we stopped off again, this time at the uh, Glasson branch, just near Goldgate. Um, obviously another drink stop before continuing on towards Lancaster and further north. Okay, we're doing good mileage now. We've just left Lancaster and now we're on the Loon Viaduct. The River Loon below us. It's clouded over a bit, but it's welcome. It's still blisteringly hot. We've got the cycleway down there. That one joins up. I think it takes you towards the coast and Morecambe. Right, just stopping Hess Bank. We found a tap. Let's see if it, uh, see if it works. Stuck. Is there a tap in there? 
There is. All right, good. End of the uh, canal for now. So after leaving Chewitfield, you come to the northern reaches. Uh, this is the section up towards Kendall, which is well overgrown. Um, eight locks, which they've all been removed, so they're just waterfalls, but uh, it's a beautiful section. Slightly overgrown, but uh, it's a nature reserve, I would say. Um, yeah, you run alongside the busy M6, which is really noisy. Um, I would imagine it would have been a lot quieter before that was there, but uh, I suppose this is progress. So this is the section as we carry further on where the motorway and air roads block the canal. So eventually we were forced off the canal onto the roads uh, again. Um, the M6 getting in the way and stuff like that. So there's a few diversions you've got to take. Um, but the views were still nice. Uh, we've got Falton not there and... Uh, we eventually stopped at Crooklands, which was ideal for us to stock up for the night, get something to eat and a few drinks for later on in the evening. Um, yeah, I had a good stock of stuff, but uh, a little bit pricey, but uh, I suppose captive audience, eh? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, exactly what we need. Okay, so we left Preston this morning at half past nine. It's now 20 past eight. We've had lots of stops. It's been immensely hot today. But this is the end, or as far as the canal goes towards Kendall, just north of Stainton. Just approaching nine o'clock, we're on 56 miles. So now we're in the uh, <laughs> the throes of searching for somewhere to pitch up for the night. Yeah. We were going to stop in a wood, but we stopped beside oh, it and we were just mid attacked. Central, it? Flies and midge, so we're pushing on. We're heading towards the sort of estuary, so we might find summit along here if we don't find summit before. There's lots of uh, freshly mown fields in there. Oh, there looks certainly like, is. Look like camping pitches. Yeah, that one there is looking... Yeah. Weren't too bad, was it? The thing is, it's out the way. Yeah, the thing is that. What is it? It's a barn, isn't it? Some kind of... If you said 10 pounds, it would be What do you reckon? It's a bit too risky. With that farm there. How do we get them over? We could go. Should we have, go with... have a look on the other side first? Yeah. If it looks good, I reckon this is our spot. What, further round, do you say? Well, I was just thought if it, cut, if it cuts that corner off. Yeah, nobody can see you then. You can't see us from that bank. You can't see us from that building. You can't see us from the angle of the gate. Okay, we've finally found somewhere. The road is the other side of this. This is a part of the estuary, but it's obviously. Not going to come this far, he hopes. But uh, yeah, the road's the other side, so nobody can see us. So. We're well tucked out the way. We were in a field, but uh, this is a better option, I think. I'm just a minute or in about. <laughs> Do you think it's going to rain at all yeah, tonight? Right. I'll have a look after.
it's uh, about half past 10, 20 to 11. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, almost, it's almost light as well, isn't it? It's still about 18, 19 degrees. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really not, yeah. not cold at all. But we're sitting up on the bank here because the midges were uh, prevalent down there. Down I've, in the, yes, yeah, the I've, got, I've got the bug net out, so hopefully that'll eradicate them. But uh, Ian's in his bivvy as well, so we should be fine. Yeah, we'll be good as gold, don't we? Yeah, yeah. but uh, we'll be up sharp in the morning, so we'll bring you back then. Morning, campers. Camp down there. I had my bug net up last night. Sun is just starting to rise over the uh, eastern fells there. So it looks like it's going to be another nice day. Yeah, the birds were in full song this morning. It's now 10 to 5. Time to get a brew on, I think. Okay, that's us all packed away. That's where I was laid. Ian was just up there. Left no trace. We're all packed. As I say, we're going to cross over the bank to get over the gate and then back on the road around towards Arnside. Yeah, so we're just repacking the bike, uh, bikes because this gate's locked, so we stripped the back panniers off and made life easier lifting over the fence. So yeah, another glorious day in there, I think. Just what you want first thing in the morning. Some nice clean toilets. 40 pence, but uh, well worth it. Here we are across, looking across the estuary outside the viaduct. And across the Grange. So we're going to pick up the Bay Cycleway and go that way. Okay, just arriving into Morecambe, so we're just going to get some supplies here, but we've come all the way around the coast, all the way around. It's warming up nicely. Right, that's us in Morecambe. We've got the Midland Hotel over there. So we're gonna try and find somewhere to get a bite to eat. Because uh, the old heat 
It's still biting. It's still red hot. Yeah. Somebody uh, searching the sands for oh, yeah. buried treasure. Right. <laughs> Let's pay our tribute to Eric. He's a big fella, isn't he? So just leaving Morecambe on the straightest cycle path. This takes us all the way towards Lancaster. Yeah, so we got, got a feed in uh, Morecambe. We visited the Greggs because we were feeling a bit uh, hungry. And that's sort of ticked the boxes now. But uh, yeah, there's some dodgy looking characters uh, in Morecambe for sure. <laughs> yes. As I was coming out of the Greg, somebody was getting chinned. So yeah, yeah welcome I, to Morecambe. I'm, I'm glad I stayed with the bikes, so I don't <laughs> think they'll be there. Like. But yeah, there was some <laughs> gonna be walking back. <laughs> really uh, unsavoury looking chaps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just stopped for five. Um, we're heading towards Glasson now, but just taking a bit of respite under these trees, a bit of shade. Mm. It's a, uh, yeah, River Loon Millennium Park. Multi-use path. Where, right. Oh, perfect. In the shade. So much cooler than out of that direct sun. But uh, we're not far off Glasson, and hopefully we'll find some refreshments of the cold type. Okay, humidity levels were quite high last night, so we're just airing our kit out for tonight. It shouldn't take too long in this heat. Where's the co-op? Oh here, we've got the co-op eh? You know the menu? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, the ferry boat that we were gonna catch is on the other side at Fleetwood. But there's a bit of a problem of low tide and the ferry doesn't run at low tide which is uh, a bit of a nightmare for us because we, literally we'd have been in Fleetwood in the boat five minutes but now we're gonna have to head back down the estuary and cross over at Thornton and then you can just see Blackpool Tower in the distance there try and work our way across somewhere we'll work some it out watch out for golf balls Ian we're in the rough Rush hour, heading towards Blackpool at the moment. We've gone off piste here. Right, we've just been stopped for 10 minutes just to cool down in this shaded area of a um, church, I don't know what it's called. Doesn't say what it's called now, but uh, yeah, we're gonna continue now, heading towards Blackpool. 
I think it's five or six mile. Yeah, it's about that, isn't it? Five mile in. We've five had a bit of a yeah, yeah. We've had a, a nightmare trying to flip and dodge air roads and close roads close, and road closures and diversions and just we've, traffic, rush hour traffic. Yeah, it's been horrendous. And we basically uh, had two hours and ten yeah. mile out the way, haven't we? Problem we had is obviously the ferry mm. being no water cutting cross, so that's put a big diversion. Anyhow, we'll forget about that. We're on the route to Blackpool, so we'll bring you back when we get a bit closer. Look how deep this is. That's how deep it is. Not too bad. Okay, we're literally on the outskirts of Blackpool. Stanley Park. I'm just gonna head west towards the coast. Where are the lights gone? Just cross on the pavement and get over. I'll we'll get straight across now. Watch out for the trams! Watch out for the trams! Yeah. Finally, we have arrived in Blackpool. Oh, what a mare. Oh. Still busy on the beach. Half past six at night, seven o'clock nearly. Right. Cheers. We've made camp um, Livam St. St. Anne's tonight. Um, we had a quick look in Blackpool, but uh, yeah, we're going to clear Blackpool. But uh, there's still plenty of people about, so we're just going to chill out with a beer until you know it gets a bit later, and then throw the bivvies out. Mm. So yeah, a long day in the saddle, just under 70 miles. Anyhow, it's time for something to drink, something to eat. Yeah, so this is probably going to be camp spot. Here about somewhere around here but we're not as I said we're not gonna roll the bivvies out still quite a few dog walkers up and down main footpaths just along there but they've been up and down here as well <laughs> so it's only 10 to 9 by 10 o'clock I think things will have quietened down there's a few more heading this way so we'll be gone we? we'll early yeah but we're just enjoying the last of the sunlight which has been a long day in the saddle yeah it's been tough put some miles in and yeah what we've had a really good few days for it so it's been it's been good crack yeah it's been great isn't it man sure it has eh? but uh, we're going to leave ourselves with short mileage tomorrow because ian's continuing back to his home um, towards the Birmingham area and he's got another 112 miles to do from Preston, he's mad. I've got, I've got a 36 hours more I reckon and yeah. on the, in the chair as I say. I'm copping out, I'm getting the train back, I'm in work on Thursday so I've got to get back, that's my oh, excuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morning campers, I was just tidying up. That's where the bivvies were, I was on here. Ian was down there. Just getting the morning coffees on. Yeah, it's a lot cooler this morning, 10 degrees got down to, so pleasant. 
kept all the midges away and the flies away. It was a bit of a breeze, so it's nice. The sun's just trying to get out through them trees. All is quiet. Apart from the tractors that seem to have run all night long. Here it goes again, sun's back out. Just having a bit tidy up. Get all the stuff sorted. Just having a brew and then we'll set sail on the trail again. But uh, the tide has gone well out overnight. You won't see it, but we're looking across the south port there. Right, that's us all packed away. So I was here, Hingham was over there. That's all rubbish packed away. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good night again. Good night, yeah. Clear, night. clear night. Got quite cool down to about 10 degrees, so... But, uh, it's time to hit the road. Yeah, just come past this little pond thing and there's a spitfire. So it must have some connection to the town. Right, we're back on the bikes again. And this is a nice esplanade. Yeah. As I say, it's, uh, it's a nice morning to be on a minute again. It is, right? Sun's out. Still quite cool this early in the morning, but it's refreshing from what we had yesterday. Yeah. But, uh, we'll see how far this takes us before it ends. Hopefully it'll go for a little while yet. Yeah, we've stopped for a bit of breakfast. And the only problem is the uh, where we are. <clears throat> it must have been muck spreading, so yeah, there's the, a distinct smell in the air, isn't there? Yeah, the hash browns <laughs> have got a, a nice aroma to them. <laughs> but hey, oh. Okay, we're just stopping for five. We're about 10 miles in at the moment and it's, temperatures are rising as per. But uh, yeah, doing okay. A few hills at the start there, so they're knocking on our legs. Ah, uh, well that's good. So basically they've... Uh, they've blocked this road off, haven't they? Yeah. I suppose they were using it as a rat run. Yeah. And in that village there, they're getting hammered by traffic. So now it's just a cycle, bridleway type thing. That was close. <laughs> We're hopefully gonna pick up the canal very soon. But it's just so refreshing cycling through these green lanes. Just a lovely smells. Yeah, I think we can get on the canal here. Looks like we can get on. Oh yes, back on the canal. Yeah tranquility and this will mean rush hour won't be so bad going into Preston now well, oh mess about with them <laughs> yeah. goodbye Okay, that's us nearly back at Preston, so we're gonna, yeah. Ian's gonna part ways, he's heading obviously down, back down to Birmingham area, another two days. Yeah, well hopefully I'll be home end of the day Thursday. Yeah, I'm, well I'm back in work tomorrow, so I've got to get back on the train today, so, mm. but uh, it's been a great ride. Uh, oh, it's been brilliant, weather's really enjoyed been it. been really hot, probably too hot at times, but uh, yeah. you know, it's been but, uh, yeah, a good experience. Um, but, uh, until the next time, thanks for yeah. watching. See ya. See you again.